Hi everyone, this is Noah Hageg. I'll be talking to you about the story of the empty glass jar, or you can say the full glass jar, according to your own perspective. And uh, actually this story is related to a previous video I uploaded a few months ago, and it's titled The Effective Investment of Time. Well, the story goes like this. One day a professor, or a teacher, you can say a teacher, um, this teacher went into class, and he talked to his students about the importance of time, how to invest, invest their time, and how to set goals and prioritize them, and to kind of uh, wrap up what he said about the investment of time, the, um, the goal-setting uh, ideas. He brought out uh, an empty glass jar and placed it in front of his students. And he asked them, what do you think, my students, is this glass jar empty or full? And of course they said it's empty, sir. Um, he said, okay, uh, of course it's empty, but wait. And he brought out some rocks and he started to place these rocks carefully inside the empty glass jar until it was full of rocks. And he asked the students again, what do you think now? Is the glass jar empty or full? And they said, of course it's full. He said, yes, it's full, full of rocks. But wait a minute. And he um, started bringing some pebbles out of his bag and he placed these pebbles between the gaps uh, in the in the glass jar, the gaps between the rocks, until the glass jar was full of rocks and pebbles and he asked the students again, is the glass jar full or is there any space for any other material to be put inside the glass jar? And the students said, okay sir, now we can see that the jar is absolutely full, full of rocks and pebbles and there is no space for anything to be put inside it. And he said, okay, wait a minute. He got some sand out of his bag and he started putting the sand inside the jar between the gaps or in the gaps between the rocks and the pebbles. And the students, of course, were shocked or amazed, if we can say that, um, because they didn't expect that there would be any space or a gap left for any other material to be put inside the jar. And the, 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 the teacher filled the jar with the sand and then looked at the students and asked them, what do you think now? Is the glass jar full or is there any space for anything else to be put inside? And the students were actually puzzled at this point and they said, according to what we see, sir, there is no space for any other thing to be put inside. So he got out a, a bottle of water and he started pouring water inside the glass jar until it was full of water and he just turned to his students and he told them, Never say I don't have time to do anything because you have the time but you do not uh, look at the space that you have. You don't use it to the fullest and this is the problem that causes a lot of waste in uh, investing time. Another thing that you should learn from this lesson or from this story that I'm telling you is that you have to prioritize your goals in order to make the most of your time. Because if um, had this teacher placed the sand first in the glass jar, he wouldn't have been able to place the rocks and the pebbles, for example. So this means that you have to put and set the goals according to how important they are. And um, after you start uh, setting your goals and prioritizing them, never waste any time and don't say, I don't have time to do this and to do that, because you always have the time. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed this with me. See you later.